I just want to preface this video by saying I made this video back in 2021 for one of my other channels, and since this is a dedicated gaming channel, I thought a remastered version of this video belonged here. I feel like everything I bring up in this video still correlates to today, so without further ado, let's get into this video. MVP 07 NCAA Baseball was released on February 6, 2007. As I'm sure many of you know, MVP 07 was the last installment of the MVP Baseball franchise that has now been dormant for almost a decade and a half. Maybe I'm in the minority here, but I feel like this is the forgotten game when it comes to all the MVP games. You rarely hear about this game or see people even mention it. I actually never even played MVP 07 until a couple years ago. I owned MVP 06 and just always thought it wasn't worth getting MVP 07 because the rosters weren't really changing due to everyone just having a number and on top of that it was just a college game so it was pretty much just the same game as 06. But with that said this game did see a few minor improvements and subtractions from MVP 06. Throughout this video we will be going over the overall gameplay of the game and if it holds up in 2021. We will also talk about the game modes and everything MVP 07 has to offer, talk about the graphics and how they look through a modern lens, and finally we will talk about the soundtrack and announcers within the game. Without further ado, let's get this party started. If you have played any MVP games before, you pretty much played MVP 07 then, and that is not really a bad thing. There are no real improvements or additions to this game of MVP 07 compared to the other iterations, but there was one subtle addition to this game that was probably overlooked at the time, but set the groundwork for future games such as MLB The Show. MVP 07 introduced pure analog pitching, and it is shockingly quite responsive and good. In MVP 06, they try to introduce analog hitting and fielding, and that was just never for me, and I don't think it really caught on all that well for anyone either, but MVP 07 was the first to add pure analog pitching to a baseball game, at least as far as I know. If I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments. Even with it being on PS2, pure analog was a really good addition to the game and added a nice, fun, new dynamic to MVP 07. Other than that, the game pretty much fills, throws, and hits the same as any other MVP game that came before it. Again, this is not a bad thing. I still think MVP holds up real well today when it comes to core gameplay mechanics, but MVP 07 is just practically the same game as MVP 06. The worst part about MVP 07 is the new camera angles that they've added into this game. I'm not sure what they were going for, but this half zoomed in camera angle for when you're hitting and pitching just feels off and really unnecessary, especially since all the other MVP games had a great camera angle for hitting and pitching. I know this isn't a huge deal, but it just feels too zoomed in for me and I just don't know why they did this. MVP 07 also offers a new feature called Bat Rack, where you can pick the bat that your team uses. This really has no function other than it is for aesthetics, but I thought it was a cool little addition to the game. This game also offers a lot of the same stadiums that we've seen in previous MVP games, but there are some real NCAA stadiums in the game, which is always fun to see. And I cannot forget, you can still get your manager ejected in this game by arguing calls, which is just still, my goodness, so fun to this day. I really wish we could do something like this and it will be the show. I feel like the gameplay segment of this video is going to run a little bit shorter than usual. Well, because I have talked about every other MVP game extensively and there really isn't anything new to talk about here with MVP 07 other than the zoomed in batting camera and pure analog pitching. Everything else plays tried and true just like MVP 03, 04, 05, and 06. If you'd like to hear more of my in-depth thoughts when it comes to hitting, pitching, fielding, anything like that in an MVP game, just check out my other reviews of the MVP series. It'll be linked above as a card. When it comes to game modes in MVP 07, it is pretty much the status quo with the rest of the MVP games. MVP 07 did add a home run derby challenge, which is just god awful if you ask me, just like all the other home run derby challenges in the MLB MVP games, but I don't think it was in MVP 06, so it is worth mentioning. This game does see a return of the batting practice mode, which is still loads of fun, and it is in a new location, which is exciting to see. There are also pitching mini games, the usual strike throwing one, which I find incredibly boring, and there's also another one where you an opponent a lot like the home run derby challenge one. There's also a dynasty mode and tournament mode within this game just like MVP 06. Dynasty mode is just your run in the mill franchise mode and tournament mode is a round robin mode where you simply try to win a tournament. This mode is fun when you're playing with a few friends and you try to battle it out and try to become the champion of your tournament. It's pretty simple. Probably the most notable mode and or feature in this game is Stadium Creator. It is practically a copy and paste of MVP 06's Stadium Creator but it did add some different 
different backdrops. Stadium Creator is still just loads of fun, and I am so stoked that it will be making a triumphant return in MLB The Show 21, just on a way grander scale. It may seem like this game may come up a little bit short when it comes to the game mode, but you can be entertained for hours while grinding out a dynasty mode, or just simply enjoy hitting dingers to dead center field that's only 310 feet from home plate. Either way, it takes a lot to get bored in this game, which is always a good thing in my book. I'll be completely honest, graphically this game looks worse to me than MVP 06 or the other MVP games. Maybe it's just because I have no real nostalgic ties to this game, but to me it actually looks worse and blurrier. In previous MVP games, you could actually make out character models a lot better along with being able to see the jerseys, helmets, and hats. For whatever reason, this game just doesn't feel crisp. And before anyone thinks it, I get it, I know this game is on PS2, but I truly think the previous MVP games look a lot better. Maybe this game was rushed and that's why it looks a lot less crisp compared to the others. I'm not really sure, but it is a definite downgrade in my eyes, and I think it is the worst looking MVP game out of the five. MVP 07 has by far the worst soundtrack and announcers in any MVP game. There's literally only one normal song throughout the entire game and the rest are all just school fight songs. Okay, cool. I don't mind the fight songs all that much when the game loads up for the first time. It kind of gets you in that college sports mode. I get it. But that's all that ever plays when you're doing anything in this game and it is so annoying another thing too i rarely associate fight songs with baseball teams that is very much more of a football or basketball thing when it comes to college sports maybe i'm wrong but that's just my two cents i definitely think mvp 07 cheaped out and went this route instead of finding real music and having to pay the artists like the previous mvp games it honestly makes no sense why the game has only one song by a real artist why just have one at that point just go all in on the fight songs they're already in for a penny might as well be in for a pound the end game announcers are are Mike Patrick and Kyle Peterson. They were the college baseball ESPN crew back in the day and their commentary in this game is, well, pretty awful. I find it repetitive, wooden, robotic, and just flat out wrong at times. There were times where a ball would be hit the dead center and Patrick would say the ball was hit the left field. Just stuff like that. It just isn't crisp, it's not very good, and it's just overall bad. This game is definitely lacking where MVP usually stands so tall. It is kind of sad to see this as MVP's final hoorah because they went out with a whimper and not a bang. To wrap up this whole video, MVP 07 feels like it was rushed, watered down, and a lazier version of MVP 06. It is definitely subpar compared to its predecessors. Other than the pure analog pitching addition to the game, there is really no real reason for this game to exist. It is just a copy and paste of MVP 06, but done worse. It is kind of sad that this was the final MVP game of the series, but after going back and playing this game for this video, I can understand why EA Sports stepped away from making MVP games, because it just feels like their heart really wasn't in it anymore, and it clearly shows. MVP 06 is objectively a better game if you're looking for some college baseball fun. Who knows if we'll ever see another college baseball game again, but if that day never comes, it looks like MVP 07 will forever be the final installment of the MVP franchise, along with the last college baseball game ever released. So with all that said, what are your thoughts on MVP 07? Let me know down in the comments below, and while you're down there, if you can like the video, and subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go check out my other reviews of the MVP series. I have officially reviewed them all now, so make sure to go check that out if you're a fan of the MVP series. All right, that wraps up this one. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.